you're a whiny snowflake that can't handle the truth, is offended by the word fuck and about 37 uses of it in different forms, gets ass hurt when you hear someone speak the absolute real and raw truth, you should leave. Like, right now. This is Shut Up and Choose. The podcast where we cut through the shit and get real about weight loss, life, and everything in between. We get into the nitty gritty of making small, smart choices that add up to big results. From what's on your plate to how you approach life's challenges, we'll explore how the simple act of choosing differently can transform your health, your mindset, and your entire freaking life. So, if you're ready to cut through the bullshit and start making some real changes, then buckle up and shut up, because we're about to choose our way to a healthier, happier life. This is Shut Up and Choose. Let's do this. Now your host, Jonathan Ressler. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Shut Up and Choose. The podcast that cuts through the noise, the fad diets, the quick fixes, and all those unrealistic weight loss promises, all that bullshit that you're bombarded with on a daily basis. I'm your host, Jonathan Ressler, and I'm here to share the brutally honest truth, whether you want to hear it or not. I guess you could say not and tune out now, but if you want to hear the truth about sustainable weight loss, I'm the guy you want to hear. I've now lost over 140 pounds without any fad diets or any pills or shots or surgeries or anything like that and surely no extreme exercise regimens i figured out that the key to success in the weight loss journey is making small smart choices and embracing a a balanced lifestyle so let's get started on today's podcast the first thing i want to talk about is i want to say thank you to everybody who's been buying my book lately it's on a for some reason a meteoric rise i wish i could say that I was responsible for it, but I'm not. For some reason, the book has caught fire. I'm getting a ton of reviews, all star, five-star reviews, and I'm really excited about that. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's very gratifying to see, and I hope for those of you that have bought the book or those of you that have not bought the book, check it out. So look, today I want to talk about something that's really pissing me off, and that is I've been spending a lot more time on Instagram I've been trying to build up my presence on Instagram. And one of the things that I see nonstop are these quote unquote fitness coaches or weight loss coaches that are so completely fucking full of shit that it drives me crazy. It's a, I I don't even know where to start on it. These online weight loss coaches who promise the world if you just follow their magical plan. I get it because I know there's a diet industry out there, but I, I, I can't believe it. These guys, they show their ripped abs and their big biceps and their muscles on Instagram and suddenly, like, out of nowhere, this guy or this girl is, is a weight loss guru, right? But I look at them and I say, here's the harsh truth, right? Most online weight loss coaches are fucking frauds. Yeah, that's right. I said they're frauds. They're those guys and girls that have always been fit. They always maybe had a gym obsession. And they figured, hey, why, why not make some money out of this? Basically, going to the gym is their fucking job. I hate the gym. But it's what they love and they make a living on it. But I really think there's like a huge difference between a weight loss coach and a fitness coach. And today, I I, want to dive into that a little bit deeper. So first thing is a weight loss coach is someone that helps you lose weight in a way that fits into your life, right? Now, it doesn't, it's not about overtaking your life. It's about something that fits into your life. They get it. They've been there. That's a key. To me, a weight loss coach that, you know, has never lost a significant amount of weight Honestly, it's like me trying to sell you on a baldness cure. I've always had a full head of hair. My hair grows like a weed. So how the fuck could I talk about curing baldness if I've never been bald? Well, the same thing for them. If they've lost 5 or 10 pounds for the latest competition to show off their ripped abs, that's not a weight loss coach. That's not someone who's walked the walk or talked the talk. They're just bullshit artists. A weight loss coach like gets the struggle of shedding the pounds when... You're juggling your job and your family and your social life and all the other obligations that you have in your life. They get it that you don't want to spend your entire life, your entire existence in the gym. Now, if you look on the other side of a fitness coach, is all about sculpting that perfect body, right? These people, these guys, because they live in the gym, it's their sanctuary. It's like their second home. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because that's great if that's what you're into. 
It's just not realistic for most people. Fitness coaches like expect you to adopt the same gym rat mentality that they have. You don't go live in the gym, but the truth is most people don't that want to lose weight aren't aiming to look like they just stepped off the cover of muscle and fitness. I know I'm not. Yes, I would love that if I if there was some magic thing that could make me do that, but that's a totally different journey than a weight loss journey. It's just not the same thing. People like me, we just want to be healthier and feel better and yeah, maybe fit into the jeans that I have more in a long time, but whatever. I'm not really looking to be ripped and to spend my life in the gym. I'm looking to be a little bit healthier every day. So like I said, if you're like me, you have a job, a family, maybe even a fucking crazy dog who demands your attention when you walk the door, you can't dedicate hours every day to working out. And I'm here to tell you, that's okay. Fitness coaches set these crazy, unrealistic expectations because for them, working out is their job. That's their job, working out. They get paid to spend hours in the gym to perfect their diet and track every single thing they eat and really to maintain that chiseled physique. But for me and for you, we have other priorities. You got to follow a weight loss plan that works with your life, not one that's all consuming, not one that you know takes over your life. And that's why I think my method is so effective. And if we're really talking about fitness coaches and that chiseled body, let's look at you know, this myth that's out there, the perfect body. Most people who want to lose weight aren't looking to get ripped. They don't aspire to have huge muscles and a six pack. I do. I'd love that if it was easy, but it's not easy. It takes a lot of work. Most people like me just want to feel good in my skin. I want to feel healthier. And most importantly, I want to live a balanced life. I want to have a social life and all those other things. And that's great. That's to me, honestly, that's a beautiful thing. In my estimation, fitness coaches are the outliers, right? They're the ones who live and breathe fitness 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But for the rest of us, weight loss is about integrating healthy habits into our everyday lives. It's not about taking over our life. It's about making those small, smart, sustainable changes that lead to long-term success. It's not about achieving that unrealistic goal of the ripped, chiseled body. I just don't think it's realistic for 99.9% of the people out there who are trying to lose weight. And I know I've said this before, but this truth bomb is weight loss should fit into your life, not rule it. You shouldn't have to give up your favorite food, which you know I did, and I eat whatever the fuck I want. And you shouldn't have to spend countless hours sweating out of the gym to see results. Look, you know, I didn't exercise at all for the first 12 months, probably for the first, I'm, I'm guessing here, but... 120 pounds. I didn't do a lick of exercise. So you can lose weight without exercising. I'm not saying that's smart. I'm not saying it's the best choice. Obviously, it's much better if you exercise and lose weight. But if you can't, if you're so big that you can't, it's okay not to go to the gym. It's okay to do some small amount of exercise that fits into your life. It's about finding that sweet spot when you can enjoy your life and still make progress towards your weight loss goal. And that's one of the big issues that I have with these fraud motherfucking weight, I'm sorry, fraud fitness coaches. One of the biggest issues that I have with them is they talk about this like kind of all or nothing mentality that they promote. It's either you're all in, like eating uh, boiled chicken and broccoli and quinoa and all kinds of yuck, shitty food for every meal, or you failed. Like there's no middle ground for them, but the truth is, All of our lives are full of middle grounds, and weight loss isn't about perfection. It's about progress. It's about making better choices most of the time and not kicking yourself and beating yourself up when you indulge a little. Every now and then, you got to feed your soul. I feed my soul a lot. I don't beat myself up over it. I just make sure that my next choice is a better choice. And guess what, right? That indulgence, that feeding my soul, that's a part of life. It's called being human. We all want to indulge. We all want to feed our soul. And any weight loss plan, any weight loss plan that doesn't account for that is setting you up for failure. Even look at some of these big time like Nutrisystems and Weight Watchers. They all have some kind of cake or cookie or whatever. Granted, it's diet and it tastes like shit. But at least they know, at least they acknowledge that Eating a treat, indulging, feeding your soul 
is part of a realistic and sustainable weight loss journey. So let's talk about like reality for a second, right? Real weight loss is fucking messy, okay? It's filled with ups and downs, successes and setbacks. I always say, you know, it's a journey. It's not a straight long. It's not a straight line, and it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, and it takes patience, and it takes a whole lot of self-love. And like I said, not that self-love and like, oh, I love my fat fucking body. No, not that kind of self-love. But the self-love where you say, hey, it's okay if I feed my soul every now and then. This, that's good. That's part of living life. That's the way normal people eat. It's about having a couple forkfuls of cake, not having a couple slices of cake. You have to have pleasure in your life or the weight loss journey is completely unsustainable. You'll do it, but then you'll drop off. So in my opinion, the true path to weight loss is about finding that balance that works for you. That's why I would never give anybody a meal plan. I'd never say you should eat this, not that. You have to eat the things that work for you. And you know I always say this, but you know what to eat. There's no secrets here. You know that eating a bowl of Captain Crunch for breakfast is not nearly as healthy as eating some overnight oats or even some whole wheat toast with butter. You know what to do. No one has to tell you. No one has to give you a weight loss plan. That's ridiculous. Going back to those guys with those perfect bodies and their perfect lives. Bullshit! Bullshit! They're on Instagram. They're showing their Instagram life, okay? But even if they did live like that, they don't. They just don't get it. They haven't walked in your shoes. I sure shit never walked in my shoes. They don't know what it's like to struggle with your weight. And they never they lost like three pounds so they could show off the, you know, get rid of that final layer of fat so they could really look ripped. And they don't know what it's like to feel uncomfortable in your own skin. And God knows I do. I know what it felt like to not be able to walk and to be embarrassed in social situations. And I'm sure you do too, to have to find clothing that fits just the right way. And really, they don't understand how to face the daily challenges that come up with losing weight every single day, right? It's not about going to the gym. You can't out exercise a bad diet period there's no two ways about that yes weight loss is burning more calories than you consume yes fact no dispute there but you can't exercise enough to take off the weight if you're eating five pieces of cake or just eating like i was i was eating two bagels with taylor ham and cheese every morning for breakfast having a big ass lunch and then going on having a big ass dinner and, and having no regard for what it was. And by the way, in the middle of the night, I'd eat some too. So it's just not their lives and the way they live is unsustainable. Living the way I was living was also unsustainable. And that's how I stumbled on this whole kind of small, smart choices thing. So you have to enjoy the foods that you love in moderation. Hey, there's a word that I didn't know, but enjoy them in moderation. You got to find the physical stuff, the physical activities that you actually enjoy, right? Like I did this all without any kind of exercise, but then I found walking. And everybody said, go walking, but you know what? Don't tell me what the fuck to do. I'll go walking when I'm ready to go walking. Go to the gym, it's so easy. No, it's not. I hate the fucking gym. So I found walking, but for you, like I always say, it could be dancing, it could be, I don't know, whatever it is that you like to do that gets you moving, that's realistic, that's a goal, that's how to stick to your why. And for, again, for some people, it's about building a support system, not looking at this fucking jerk off with the ripped abs and telling you, you're a fucking lazy. No, that's bullshit. That's not real life. That's his fucking job. Okay. That's what he does for work. Okay. It's not the way he lives. It's what he does for work. He, if he doesn't look good, well, then shit, I guess nobody's going to buy his fitness routine. You have to. Find a way to face those daily challenges that come with losing weight and living a full life, right? Enjoy your life. Life is too short. You blink an eye and it's over. You got to enjoy life and eating food, eating things that you like. That's part of enjoying life. You know, when I talk about real goals, the L is livable. It's got to be livable. You got to find that balance. It's And for those of you who don't remember what my real goals are, it's right now something you absolutely positively cannot live another day without doing essential 
is it's got to be something that if you can't, if you don't achieve it, you're going to like, you're going to die. Attainable has to be something that you can actually attain. If you think that you're going to lose 20 pounds in a week or drop two dress sizes in 10 days or follow this program for 30 days and you'll be amazed how you can lose 20 pounds. That's all a bunch of shit. Those are bullshit, unattainable goals. It's just sales. It's a way to separate you from your money. And the last part is it's got to be livable, right? It's got to be about making small, sustainable changes that fit into your life. So just for transparency, I have to tell you, I have been coaching a few people. I have a few people that I'm walking through my process on a one-to-one basis. And the way I convince them to trust me is the truth. Look, I've been where they are. I've been where you are. And I've faced the same struggles, the same frustration. I know what it's like to lay there and feel hopeless. When I was laying in the hospital ready to die, I was hopeless. And I sure as shit know what it feels like to feel like nothing works. No matter what I do, it, it, it works for a while, but then it doesn't. And that's even more frustrating than it not working at all. So I found a way and I lost over 140 pounds while eating this food that I love and without spending my life in the gym. I did it by finally finding balance and by setting those real goals and giving myself permission to do what I have to do. And that's what I want for you. That's what I want for the people that I'm coaching. I want them to find that same balance and honestly, that same peace. I'm so at peace, it's crazy. I want everybody listening to know that it is absolutely possible to lose weight without giving up the things you love. You don't have to live in the gym. You don't have to eat a bland, boring diet. You can enjoy your life (laughs) and still lose weight. Imagine that. So I'm not telling you to come to me for coaching because that's that's your own thing, your own deal. Do what you want to do. But here's what I would tell you. If you're looking, if you're thinking about spending money on one of those crazy ass programs that we're bombarded with all the time. And to me, a crazy ass program is still like the shit like Noom and Paleo and all that. But of course, it's really the more of those fraud fitness guys and girls that are all over Instagram. If you're really, if you really want to pay someone to do this, if you're looking for a real weight loss coach, look for authenticity, right? Make sure that it's someone who's been where you are. Make sure it's someone that's lost some weight. Make sure that person understands your struggle and who's going to give you some kind of plan that fits into your life. I I, I guess I'm saying don't be fooled by those, the, the six pack and the big muscles and the perfect body. Look for a real person, real people who... Yeah, who've lost real weight and have done it, who've been there, who've done that. I believe, and again, I feel like I'm doing a commercial, but I promise you I'm not. But my program is different because it's based on reality. It's based on my journey and what actually works in the real world. I'm, I'm walking, living, breathing proof. I lost 140 pounds and I didn't do a fucking lick of exercise. I didn't cut a single food out of my life. I ate anything I chose. What I always say, what I'm going to tell you now is that the things that I chose definitely changed as I started to see more success. I'm not going to tell you that in the beginning, yes, I love to eat all that kind of shitty junk food and it was delicious and I loved it. But as I started to win, as I started to get these small victories, my choices changed. And that wasn't a conscious thing. It was just a thing that happened. I made this weight loss thing part of my life, not the center of it. It wasn't all I lived for. I found a balance that worked for me. I set realistic goals, which was never a number on the scale. Never. Of course, I use the scale to measure my progress. But to this day, 15 months, I don't know how far into it I am. But to this day, I don't have a number. I don't know what I'd like to weigh. I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. And the hardest or easiest part it sounds like the hardest part but it is the easiest part is i figured out a way to really enjoy the process to enjoy the journey i love being on this journey i love making these choices i love feeling like i'm winning multiple times a day so the next time you see like one of these online weight loss things or something on tv promising you the world and It'll give you a perfect body and it's going to give you a perfect life. Just remember that most of them are completely full of shit. 
They've never lost a pound on their own. The shit on TV is designed by scientists and business people who are, their main goal is not for you to lose weight. It's to separate you from your money. Okay, find somebody who's walked in your shoes. Find somebody that understands the struggles. I promise you, it's not the guy on Instagram telling you you could have ripped abs in six weeks or you can drop two dress sizes in 15 minutes. They don't understand the struggle. They've never lost any real weight and they're completely full of shit. And most importantly, most of those people don't know what it's like to juggle a job, a family, and a social life all while you're trying to lose weight. I do. Maybe you do. But I'm here to help you find the way that works for you. And again, I'm not selling you shit. I would love to coach you if that's what you're interested in. But I'm not selling you shit. My podcast, as you know, is 100% free. And I pretty much talk about everything here. But I would love to help you find, I hope by listening, you're finding a way to make it sustainable, enjoyable, and most importantly, real. Because as I've said 10 times in this actual episode, weight loss has to fit into your life and not rule it. And you should find yourself a coach or someone who supports you who gets that. So anyway, let's get started on this journey together. And again, I'm not telling you to come to me for coaching. I'm just saying, listen to my podcast because I'm telling you all my thoughts. So let's get started. Let's find some balance and let's set some real goals. That way, I believe you'll make weight loss a part of your life, not the center of it. So I know for sure that you got this and I'm here to help and tell you the truth every step of the way. That's what this podcast is about. Telling you the truth that those other scamming motherfuckers won't tell you until you pay. This is the real deal. I'm the real deal. I did it. So you can say what you want about me. You can say I'm still heavy. That's fine. I couldn't give a shit. I'm 140 pounds lighter. You can say I'm not a doctor. I don't give a shit. I still lost 140 pounds. You can say, how could you do it without exercise? I don't give a shit. I still lost 140 pounds. You could say, I I don't think what you ate is great. Fuck you. I don't give a shit because I enjoyed it and I'm still here and I'm healthier than I've ever been. I'm not taking any medication. I'm walking. I'm having a really full life. So again, listen to the podcast. Enjoy the podcast. If you know some big fat fucks that need to lose weight and are spending their money, pissing away their money on these fad diets and weight loss coaches and all that other shit, tell them to listen. It's free. To quote John Belushi in Animal House, it don't cost nothing. So check it out. Well, I guess that kind of wraps it up for today. So I'll sign off the way I do every single week. Shut up and choose. You've been listening to Shut Up and Choose. Jonathan's passion is to share his journey of shedding 130 pounds in less than a year without any of the usual gimmicks. No diets, no pills, and we'll let you in on a little secret. No fucking gym. And guess what? You can do it too. We hope you enjoyed the show. We had a fucking blast. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, find Jonathan on Instagram at Jonathan Wrestler Boca Raton. Until next time, shut up and choose.